Hi guys, I'm Kelty Colleen. Welcome to Mahalo. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a one-of-a-kind homemade wreath. All right, so in order to decorate your homemade wreath, you're going to need one of these wreaths. Uh, you can pick these up at any craft store. Um, some wire-edged ribbon is really important. You need your glue gun, some scissors, and then different things to decorate your wreath with. I'm going to do a very traditional holiday wreath, so I have some berries, I have some cinnamon sticks, um, I have some little leaves, and then this is kind of that mantle decoration that you put on your mantle for the holidays, and we're going to wrap it around. We're going to start with our greenery. So what we're going to do is decide kind of which way we want our wreath to go, which is sideways like this. and. I'm going to start at the back and sort of attach the very end. Usually they have some sort of wire like this. I'm going to attach it at the very back. And then we're going to collect all our other greenery and we're simply going to wrap it in and out, in and out, all the way around. The next thing we're going to do is start doing our decorating. So. I like to start with the green as the base. So you're going to do all your greens and then on top put the reds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of, some of these are little plastic ones. I'm going to kind of um, take my glue gun, just put a little glue on the back here, and I'm just going to place them in sort of as, as if they were coming from the, um, the greenery, just an extra little bit. And because they're so beautiful and sparkly, it's going to look really, really cool. Then the next layer that we're going to put on top is our cinnamon sticks and our, um, and our berries. So once again, everything always looks better in threes. So I think what I want to do is just kind of move this around and we're going to glue two. As you can see, we kind of have like four little areas. So what I was thinking is putting the bow right here. So we want to just kind of do maybe three little areas of cinnamon sticks and um, and berries. So let's start up here. All right, so now we're going to do a big bow at the bottom. A homemade bow is always better. So what you want to do is you want to get a big, huge piece of wire-edged ribbon from your craft store. And how you make a gigantic, beautiful bow is you're gonna put it in half like this, okay? And then you're gonna take one side of it and put it in a big ear like this. So big loop. And then you're gonna take the other side, you're gonna wrap it around. And then when you have a hole like this, you're gonna push the other uh, loop through the hole, just like you're tying a shoelace. And then you're gonna pull them both tight and you're going to see that you get a big bone. So let's pull our wreath back over. What's going to happen is we're going to glue gun the back of the bow, glue, and we're going to glue it right to the bottom of the wreath, right in the middle. And then, because the ribbon is so long, what we're going to do is we're going to fold the pieces of ribbon together at the bottom, fold the wire edges together, and then you're going to cut up. So cut towards the center, and then when you do that, it gives you that nice, pretty little bottom of the ribbon. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to fold it together. Cut up. Alright, so once you finish the bow, you can put a nail up on your door and then you have a beautiful one-of-a-kind holiday wreath for your front door. Hey guys, thanks so much for crafting with me today. If there's another craft that you want to learn, make sure to check out all these links around me or underneath me. And if you have a request for a craft that you haven't seen yet, send an email to requests at mahalo.com and make sure to subscribe and comment. We should talk about our crafts because they're really cool. I'll see you next time with my scissors and glue gun.